Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, we're going to be doing a review today on the Lover, Lawe, Love tank, whichever you like to say. Uh, that tank's a tier 8 premium tank and it is by far a wonderful tank. I always say people always underwriting it saying how bad the tank is, how crap it is. It costs 12,500 gold and she is a beauty. If you just look at the size of that cannon it's extremely nice and extremely good. It's a 10.5 centimeter gun, fires a rate of fire of 5, average pen stress 234, and average damage of 320. And it's pretty solid all around. The armor's not overly good 120 front uh, turrets, 120, but it can be quite bouncy. It's got, it's got some large cheeks here, which we're going to go through in detail shortly, but overall, it's a really good solid tank, and I love it size these tracks, the sound of it, the exhaust kicking off the back of it, it's just really really nice overall. It's punchy as well, you'll be getting a lot of tier 9 games, probably 10% of them will be tier 10. We drive to mark when you're top tier as well, this tank is just so great. As long as you don't come up against a couple of T-59s, Type 59s, then you do struggle, just mainly because of their maneuverability, the turret's pretty slow. Traverses for the hull at 24 degrees a second. Turret traverses at 23 degrees a second. So the gun reloads, but that's with my crew and the rest of it, is 10.3 seconds. It's more or less nearly six shells per minute of fire, which is pretty decent, really. It's not as good as a T-34. T-34 does around 400 damage, but a slightly longer reload time. Um, but she's a really good sniper. I won't go in and brawl with her, because she's not really a brawling tank. You'd have to put her on the angle around here if you are going to try to angle just to brawl. Your cheeks are dangerous. Because uh, they are quite significant. If you can get a good shot, you're fighting straight on here, this angle. They'll just punch through straight away. They can mantle it. We'll look at it in a second. Well, let's have a quick look at the, the tank itself, shall we? Right then, looking at this tank. <coughs> we can see that the, the front of the armour, if it's been faced on front. Lower plate, it's 156mm to penetrate. For something to penetrate on top, it's uh, 162 Penetrate the cheeks, need 153, and it's going to ricochet and a gun mantle it. And if they manage to get a side shot, all they need is 100 millimeters, 83 at the top. For the rear, 90. The rear, 85 over 100. So it's literally not much to, to, to penetrate at all. Hard is going to be through the tracks, but it's not that hard. Right, so if you're actually going to face off against somebody, the best way that you want to do is this point here is to have this angle towards the hostiles. That means that any shot, apart from one or two areas, which is impossible to get anyway, it's too precise, it's always going to be a ricochet, and it's going to be a ricochet to put a shot through the tank. So I'd normally have a, a building in front of me, or a rock, or some sort of other structure, and I just go and make sure that I, I put myself between the hostile... The walls are right in front of me, sorry. Sorry about that. I'll try to get the turret set up straight away. Uh, <coughs> so it's going to be nothing to compare to it. I'd ram into the wall. I'd pull back with just this part showing to get a little bit of a glimpse. I'd put a shot into them and that'd be it. I'd move on then. Gosh, this is quite flipping awkward. Uh, there we go. So I'd pop out of the wall. They'd put a shot into me. 356 millimeters there. 125 and up to 240, then it'll ricochet off the side. They'll only have a shot here. They'll have a shot at the front, 180, which the water thing will just go straight through, to be honest with you. There's nothing you can really do about it. And then I just literally drive back into the wall. So I pull out and then drive back into the wall itself. That'll stop anybody being able to penetrate me inside. If you're doing a frontal, you've got somebody right in front of you. Again, try to angle. So this is more or less at the centre of the screen. And that'll mean that they can't really get a shot into the side of you. They'll still better get shot into front of you. It's not what you can do, but it's better than being front on. At least you've got a higher chance of it ricocheting because you've got more angle towards them. So it means even more to get through. And if the M2 low, it's just going to ricochet off the bottom of you. Always make sure your gun mantle is the best thing. Keep that pointed to where their gun is. Also, when you're, you know, you're engaging somebody, if you, you're right up to them, right in the face, and they're, they're trying to shoot at you, and they start to seem to aim towards this area, just start turning the tank so that it becomes even thicker than they would it depends on the speed of the rotation of the gun obviously if you find a t-34 it's okay to do you start seeing them to come towards this area here moving towards your ass you start to turn the tank more towards their gun and you just literally 
sit there pressing A and D and making your tank move where their turret moves so each of the times you're taking shot after shot into them so it's quite easy. It's a nice tank overall, it's it's better as a sniper, it's not as much nice just to be sat in the middle of the open and firing away when you can be shot back at. Only do it if you're spotted by your mates, if you're going to sit in the middle of nowhere. Otherwise, like with the video that you're going to see shortly, I did some good damage, 3,500 damage. And it's mainly because I tried to keep myself safe, took shots, push in, pull out, took a shot, pull out move back in, take a shot. Sometimes it doesn't work, you'll get a shot depending on what their reload speed is. Well, let's have a look at the gameplay now. Right then, so, let us rock on, shall we? And it's myself, Bushy and Joker's playing today. We're playing the platoon of the Lovers, Loves, whatever. And I'm going to like to come straight down the middle and then try to get to this point here. Uh, in E2, E3, and try to cover. Just going to slightly speed it on. Until we get to the action, oh, you can see that there's an IS-3 just in front of us. So I'll put just a shot straight through and straight away. He gets one back. A fast reload than he is. So I put a shot straight through the side of his tank. And I tech another return fire. I couldn't really angle it. I've angled it as much as I can if you look here to where... I should be able to stop him, but he's got good penetration, it's just going straight through like a knife through butter. Third shot, 965 damage done so far, I'm backing out. You can see two tanks coming towards the back of us, the Jagpans and the AT-15. Um, this area is pretty... It's always different if anybody actually bothers to come down a side or not. They have done this time, so we're going to push around in a second. This guy gets out of the way. I'm trying to push forward to get to the side of the AT-15 and then I can put some damage into him. At the moment all I'm doing is aiming straight through his cupola. Put one shot through him. With the reload, the guy's just stuck there. Uh, he wasn't in such a good position, he shouldn't have come round so far. If he would have stayed round the back of here, where it is now, he could have just dangled himself back, took a shot, popped out and fired. I took one shot then. I wasn't angled very well at all. A bit stupid really. Done 200 damage or 4 hits so far. Chap just died behind it. No, it wasn't, he was just hit. Nice solid hit. I tried to keep myself pushed up against this tank here, so the one got a slight part of me to see, which could be quite a hard shot to hit. To be able to penetrate me just there. Shot through the Jag Panther. Seven kills to five. Looks like the majority of their team is stuck in the middle. So I'm a bit nervous about pushing out too far. Don't want to be the chap who just gets his ass nailed because he's gone out on his own. <coughs> Excuse me. Try relocating now. I'm a two shot hit. Speed of a touch. I'm going to try to push around, kill a Borsig, and assist my friend because he's screaming out on team speak that he's uh, getting butty battered. Put a shot into Borsig. He's now on 26 points, which is unfortunate. If there was a bit more damage, he would have been killed. And he'd probably have been able to help our friend more. Let's just take another shot. That's his last health. Ooh, he's got 30 health, so then both of them guys are one-shot kills. IS-2's not going to be able to get a poke on me just yet. There's nowhere for him to actually be. So I'm going to try to get around the back, put some shots in. I took a big hit, but I got the kill. And the boss is a very dangerous weapon. 750 average damage depending on the gun he's got. Which means he only had the lower gun then, it was only 450 damage gun. Otherwise I would have been killed in one go. Now, there's no real way that I could have stopped then, that getting killed by a T-34. Because uh, the shells are so punchy, it's just game over straight away. Well, at least I got one shot into him and then he's got a little bit of health left. 
which is going to be changing soon. So the ice tree is now engaging him. And that's it. Let's go back to the end of it. So as you can see, where uh, well we won, I received 112,000 credits, 74,000 before premium, and with premium, it's 112. Top platoon did the most damage, I did 3,500, got three kills. And uh, overall, I received 90,576 credits, which isn't bad. It's a fun, well, I think it's a really good amount. I normally get this sort of level with the IS 6 or the um, Type 59. I had 14 shots, 13 penetrated, and the damage I caused, as you saw, I took 6 hits, 6 penetrated, because the armor, I didn't really angle it very well, as you saw. Uh, I spotted a couple of targets, I didn't do any damage due to player's assistance. And normally, if I shot me, somebody in the track, I would have got more points for it, but overall, not such a bad game. Um, let me know what you think, guys, about the gameplay, about the review. But this this is the kind of thing I'm going to start bringing out as well. Some reviews, and I'm going to do some just general um, gameplay after I've done the review of the tank. I don't know. I'll do it this way or that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's the first time I've done it. Appreciate your thoughts, your feedback, and if you want to play with me, join me in game. Hit us up. Let me know what you think. Join my Steam group, then you can know what I'm playing, so um, you can keep in contact. <laughs> Uh, let me know if you want to see another different types of videos as well. Come up, any tanks and reviews, or just gameplay. Thanks.